हेलो फ्रेंड्स जिसका आपको इंतजार था पेपर सोल्यूशन फटाफट देखते हैं पहले दस क्वेश्चन इफ ई एंड जी रिप्रेजेंट एनर्जी एंड ग्रेविटेशनल कॉन्स्टेंट देन ई बाई जी एस मुझे पता है एनर्जी का एक्सप्रेशन कुछ माइनस जी एम वन एम टू बाई आर होता है तो ई बाई जाए जी डायमेंशनली अगर मैं देखूंगा तो दैट इज एम टू एंड दिस इज एल सो दैट इज ऑप्शन टू जो स्टूडेंट का मैंने पेपर लिया है इसने भी सही किया है नेक्स्ट वन इसके बाद इंडक्टर है इंडक्टेंस एल का कैपेसिटर कैपेसिटेंस सी का रजिस्टर रजिस्टेंस आर का एल पे 40, सी पे 10 और आर पे 40. तो आपको समझ आ जाएगा जो एक्सएल माइनस एक्स वाला वोल्टेज अपन देखते हैं दैट कम्स आउट एज 30 वोल्ट्स और जो आपका वी वाला वोल्टेज है इस पे वोल्टेज आ रहा है वी पे 40 आ रहा है तो आपको डायरेक्ट पता है कि जो सोर्स का वोल्टेज होगा दैट इज फिफ्टी वोल्ट क्योंकि ये नाइन्टी डिग्री के फेस डिफ्रेंस पे होते हैं तो वोल्टेज इज फिफ्टी बट ये मुझे पता है क्या होती है आर वैल्यू यही नपती है तो जो वी होगा वो आपको दिख रहा है कितना होगा फिफ्टी रूट टू अब आपको आई मैक्स कितना के है जो एम्पलीट्यूड के क्लियर कट लिखा हुआ है टेन रूट टू एम पी तो जेड की वैल्यू जैसा आपको याद है क्या लिखते हैं वी मैक्स अपॉन आई मैक्स दैट कम्स आउट एज फाइव होम्स तो ये भी स्टूडेंट ने सही किया है नेक्स्ट बॉडी एस करता है फ्रीक्वेंसी एन से तो एनर्जी की फ्रीक्वेंसी होती है टू एन आपको पता है एस का ग्राफ ऐसा होता है एनर्जी का देखते हैं तो स्क्वायर साइन स्क्वायर या कॉस स्क्वायर बन जाता है यहाँ ये टी पे रिपीट हो जाता है टी बाई टू पे रिपीट हो जाता है तो फ्रीक्वेंसी डबल हो जाती है थिक करंट कैरिंग वायर अब इसमें फील्ड आपको बतानी है यूनिफॉर्म वायर की फील्ड आप सबको पता है कैसी होती है अंदर प्रोपोर्शनल टू आर आगे इनवर्स टू आर सो ऑप्शन फोर पे जाएंगे दैट इज द बेस्ट ऑप्शन नेक्स्ट वन न्यूक्लियस है 240 वाला 120 के दो में टूटता है ये बहुत स्टैंडर्ड क्वेश्चन है देखिए दो वाले की बाइंडिंग एनर्जी टोटल कितनी होगी टू फोर्टी और इसकी अब कितनी होगी वन ट्वेंटी इंटू सो जो डिफरेंस लेंगे टू कॉमन आ जाएगा इट वुड बी सेवन 8.5 पॉइंट फाइव माइनस सेवन पॉइंट सिक्स इतनी बार आप लोगों ने कैलकुलेशन ये की है इन टू पॉइंट नाइन दैट कम्स आउट एस टू वन सिक्स मेरे हिसाब से बहुतों को ये आंसर ही याद रहता है नेक्स्ट एक पैरल प्लेट के पास यूनिफॉर्म इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड ये स्पेस में है डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द प्लेट्स इज डी इन द एरिया ऑफ द कैपेसिटर इज ए द एनर्जी स्टोर इन द कैपेसिटर इज तो आपको सीधा सीधा पता है कि भाई क्या होती है एनर्जी एनर्जी आप लिख सकते हो एनर्जी डेंसिटी होती है हाफ एफ सेल एन नॉट ई स्क्वायर और जो वॉल्यूम है दैट इज ए इन टू डी बहुत बार क्वेश्चन पहले भी आ चुका है ये तो करना बनता ही है फिर नंबर ऑफ फोटोन्स पर सेकंड ऑन एन एवरेज एमिटेड बाय द सोर्स ऑफ मोनोक्रोमेटिक लाइट ऑफ वेवलेंथ 600 हंड्रेड नैनोमीटर वन इट डिलीवर्स दिस पावर सो पावर इज एन एच सी बाय लामडा सो एन वुड बी पी लामडा ओवर एच सी वट इज पी थ्री पॉइंट थ्री इंटू टेन टू द पावर माइनस थ्री वट इज लामडा सिक्स इंटू टेन टू द पावर माइनस सेवन टेकिंग द पावर्स इंटू कंसिडरेशन एच इज सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स इंटू टेन टू द पावर माइनस थर्टी फोर एंड सी इज थ्री इंटू टेन टू द पावर एट नाउ If you look at it, I think this uh, whole factor is uh, perhaps getting cancelled. We need to just check about the powers. So it is seven and three. Oh, let me where it has moved. Wait a minute. So seven and three is ten, ten uh, and then eight, and ten and eight that is eighteen, and this is thirty-four, to thirty-four and eighteen that is ten to the power sixteen. So the student has uh, done it right. Let me check it again. Uh, it might happen that uh, due to the speed, it might be, I might do wrong. So let me check it again. Yeah, it's okay. Ten to the power sixteen. Polar molecules are the molecules we know having a permanent dipole moment. That's right. Half life of the radioactive material is 100 hours. The fraction of original activity that will remain after 150 hours. So you know the fraction remaining is half t to the power t half. If you remember that thing, so that would be half. Uh, this would be 150 over 100. So it is half 3 by 2. So half 3 by 2 means half 1 plus 1 by 2. You can write it as half into half to the power half, which comes out as 1 upon 2 root 2. So go with option 3. Next one. A capacitor of capacitance C is connected across an AC source of voltage. This the displacement current between the plates of the capacitor would then be. So you know the current and the voltage in a capacitor are 90 degree out of phase, so it won't be a sign. Now what would be the amplitude? Amplitude what we know, we know uh, we know V is equal to I X. So I would be V by X X C and X C you know is X C is one upon omega C. So it would be omega C V naught. So go with the option two. So that is the answer for this particular question. Now the second part, 11 to 20th. 11th screw gauge gives the following reading when used: main scale reading zero, circular scale reading 52 division. Given that 1 mm on main scale corresponds to 100 division, that means you can make out least count is equal to 1 over 100 mm, or you can write it as 1 over 1000 centimeter. So this is 0.001 centimeter. Now 52 divisions are there, so the reading would be 52 into 0.001, so 0.052 centimeters. So this would be option one. Next, find the value of the angle of emergence from the prism refracting angle of the prism is root three. So here you see it is normal incidence. So this angle is 90 degree. This is 90 degree from the geometry. This angle comes out as 30. This will come out as 60. And if I draw the normal from here, this angle would be 30 degrees. 
so now 30 degrees for this uh, the critical angle would be uh, we say the sin inverse root 3 that would be the critical angle ok so uh, the critical angle yes uh, the critical angle would be uh, one of the sin inverse root 3 so this is definitely not going to tir so it will emerge from the other side and uh, we apply the snell's law root 3 into sin of 30 degrees is equal to 1 into sin of emergence angle so sin of emergence angle is equal to root 3 by 2 so e is equal to 60 degrees so option 2 would be the answer next in a potentiometer circuit 1.5 volt gives a reading at 36 so if 2.5 volt is uh, uh, replaces the first cell then the length would be so you know 1.5 upon 2.5 would be l1 by l2 that is 36 over this l2 so this l2 comes out as 36 into 2.5 over 1.5 so if you do this uh, this 15 this would be 12 times 12 uh, not 12 times sorry it would be uh, it would be uh, wait a minute it would be 24 times not 12 times it would be 24 times so 24 into 2.5 that is equal to 60 centimeters second is correct next particle is released from a high test from the surface of the earth at a certain height its kinetic energy is 3 times its potential energy so k is equal to 3 u and we know k plus u is equal to e so what i can say e is equal to 4 u at that point the height from the surface of earth and the speed of the particle at that instant are respectively ok it is released from height s from the surface of the earth certain height its kinetic energy is 3 times its potential energy the height from the surface of earth and the speed at this instant would be so it means that the energy which it was possessing one fourth is lost that we can say because uh, it is a uh, k is 3 of u sorry so that means 3 fourth of the energy is uh, lost so 3 fourth of the total energy is lost so, I think because it is a question in the NEET, I let it, they have simply taken it to be mgh. So, write E is equal to mg, let us say height is uh, s. So, at this height u becomes e by 4. So, the height would be s by 4 for sure and the kinetic energy you know would be 3 fourth of that. So, 3 fourth mg s and that would be equal to half m v square. So, speed I can make it out it would be 3 by 2 g s under root. So, we can go with option 1 in this case. Next, effective resistance of a parallel connection that consists of 4 wires of same length, same area and same material is 0.25. So, in parallel if you have equivalent wires, so R by 4 is 0.25. So, R becomes equals to 1 ohm. So, if they are connected in series, it would be 4 R. 4 R means it would be 4 ohm. So, the option 1, that is an easy one. Next, water falls from a height of 60 meter at the rate of 15 kg per second to operate a turbine. The losses due to frictional forces are 10 percent of the input energy. How much energy power is generated by the turbine? Okay. So, water falls from a height of 60 at the rate of 15 kg per second. So, the power that is coming is 15 kg per second and uh, uh, let me 15 kg per second and uh, g is what you have, you have 10 meter per second square and uh, it is 60 meters. So, if I do this, this would be kg meter square per second that is the unit you use for that is the unit kg meter square per second cube we are getting. So, it is 150 into 60 what we will have this is 900, 9000 you can say what that is the input power. The losses are 10 percent of the input energy. So, what we will have we will have 8100 watt. So, the power is generated as 8.1 kilowatt that you can do next. Infinitely long straight conductor carries a current of 5 ampere electron is moving with a speed of 10 to the power 5 parallel to the conductor ok. We know parallel to the conductor the perpendicular distance is 20 cent centimeter at the instant the force we know the magnetic field due to this uh, would be coming outwards and because electron is going there so v cross b if you do it comes downwards so the electron will experience a force upwards and because it is perpendicular it would be e v b so 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 v what you have 10 to the power 5 and b because it is infinite wire mu naught i by 2 pi r mu naught by 2 pi is what you write 2 into 10 to the power minus 7 i is 5 and the distance is 20 so you can write it as 1 by 5 meter so that is 25 into 250 50 into 1.6 that is 80 and this would be 10 to the power 19 26 21 so 10 to the power 21 that we are getting minus 21 uh, th th that would be the answer so 8 into 10 to the power minus 20 newton that is the option we will get option 1 next consider the following statement and identify zener diode is connected in reverse bias we, we know this potential barrier of a pn junction lies between 0 0.1 volt and 0 0.0 uh, silicon we know it's 0 0.7 so it would be doubtful to say it for uh, germanium we have 0 0.2 so i think this is a somewhat a dubious one first is definitely correct 
so a is correct and for b it could be anything it's uh, tough to uh, say at this point we will give the final answer afterwards uh, leave it for now 19 the spring is stretched by 5 cm by a force 10 newton the time period of the oscillation is the mass of 2 kg is suspended by it is okay so f is equal to kx so the value of k is 10 over uh, you can write it 1 by 20 so it would be 200 newton per meter so now the time period time period you know is 2 pi under root m by k 2 upon 200 that is 2 pi upon 1 by 100 so it is 2 pi by 10 so it comes out as pi by 5 pi by 5 means 3.14 by 5 that comes out as 0.628 seconds so this is option 1 next electron concentration in n type semiconductor is the same as whole concentration so n e is equal to nh uh, an external field is applied across each of them okay uh, compare the currents in them uh, wait a minute n type okay in n, uh, sorry this is a uh, different when we have an n type and when we have a p type and where the electron concentration the whole concentration is same external field is applied across each of them compare the current we know electrons are more mobile so because electrons are more mobile current in the n type will going to be exceed than the current in the p type that is it is going to be a tough question now the part three a dipole is placed in an electric field as shown in which direction will it move so here you can see as we go here the electric field is decreasing so the field at the location of plus q will be more and it will push it towards right so definitely it will move towards right and now the system always goes in a way to decrease its potential energy so the answer would be it will move towards right as its potential energy will decrease next we have a convex lens of 20 centimeter okay and a concave lens of focal length 5 centimeter kept along the same axis with some distance if a parallel beam of light falls on a and leaves b also as a parallel beam okay so this is leaving as a parallel beam it clearly suggests uh, the image formed is uh, the focus of the bo both must be same so that means this d should be equals to the magnitude of f1 plus magnitude of f2 so okay wait a minute it won't be like this because it's a convex lens so don't do, do this mistake it clearly means uh, that for making it to the infinity it should fall like this here should be the focus here should be the focus so that it can go like this so the d would be effectively subtraction of the focal length of the two so that would be 20 minus 5 that would be 15 centimeter not 25 so just remember this that 25 would be when both would be convex lenses next the escape velocity escape velocity from the earth surface is v the escape velocity from the surface of another planet having a radius four times that of earth and same mass density so what we know v escape uh, v uh, the standard result we know is root 2 gm by r now here the mass and uh, the radius is given the mass density is given so you know the mass can be written as density into 4 by 3 pi r cube upon what we have this r so that means it is proportional to if i do it would be root of rho r square so it has the same mass density and radius is four times so radius is four times so that means proportionality to r so that would be 4v you can directly say this v would be proportional to r so that would become 4v next one EM wave of wavelength lambda is incident on a photosensitive surface of negligible work function. If M mass is of a photoelectron emitted from the surface as D Broglie wavelength lambda D then. Okay, so lambda is incident on a photosensitive surface. If M mass is of photoelectron emitted, then the D Broglie wavelength would be. Okay, so what we have, this HC by lambda, I can take it in the limiting case. Usually it should be less than that due to the kinetic energy of uh, the electron that would be equal to half mv square so the speed would be root 2 hc over lambda m so now de broglie wavelength we know de broglie wavelength is h upon mv that we have so h upon mv de broglie wavelength so that would be uh, what we have h over m and it would be uh, lambda m over 2 hc so square it up so that would be if i simplify it would be lambda m would be downwards it would be 2 it would be h would be upwards and it would be c so what we have we have lambda would be 2 m c over h into lambda d square if i have done it correctly so just let me be sure of that so i think something is matching up yes the option 4 is matching up next Lens of large focal length, large aperture is best suited as an objective and astronomical telescope because it, you know it has a large area of the objective ensures better light gathering ability plus a better resolution. Okay, so resolution is also correct. The second is also correct. Contributes the quality and visibility of the image. So I think all of the above would be the most appropriate here. So again, uh, don't take it just by reading one or two options. Read all the options carefully. Next, 
two charged spherical conductors R1 R2 connected by a wire, then the ratio of the surface charge density of the sphere is. So what we know, the potential will become same, and you know potential is sigma r by epsilon naught would be same. So sigma would be inverse to r. So that would be the option three. You can directly say sigma one by sigma two is r two over r one. Next one. For a plane EM wave propagating in the x direction, which one of the following combination gives the correct possible directions for E and magnetic field? Okay. So the field is along x. So we know the direction should be given by E cross B. So E cross B must point in the I cap. And uh, they should be perpendicular to I cap. So all are perpendicular. So let me check here. Both are parallel. So that not possible. Both are parallel. Not possible. Uh, here they are perpendicular. For uh, here they are perpendicular. Here they are. Uh, they are not perpendicular. Here they are opposite. So I think there is only one option that is matching up. If you do just uh, simply by checking the dot product too. Uh, let me show you again. It would be let's say the dot product would be two. Here the dot product would be two. Here the dot product would be zero. Here the dot product would be minus two. So only one option is matching. And for your conformity, let me do that cross product also. And that's uh, no issue. Uh, so J cross K, you know, is equals to I cap. K cross J, you know, is minus I cap. So that would again be become uh, plus I cap. So I cap plus I cap. So it is pointing along the I cap. So no issue uh, in that. So the options are very easy. You could have made made it out next. A cup of coffee cools from 90 to 80 in T minutes in the room temperature is 20. The time taken by the similar coffee to cool from 80 to 60 at room temperature same at 20. So definitely this uh, time would be definitely double of that. That is for sure. So it would be greater than 2T. So it would be greater than 2T. This is not possible. This is not possible. This is not possible. So you can directly take the option three. And uh, so <laughs> yeah, I'm going with that. No point in solving. Is the equivalent capacitance of the combination is here? You can see this is short circuited. So it doesn't mean. So it would be what we have. This point is effectively A. So this is A. This is B. B B B. So it would be C and C. So that would C and C will be basically what we have. They are in a parallel. So it would be two C. So we'll go with option three. Next, if F A T are chosen as the fundamental physical quantities, then the dimension of energy is going to be so force, acceleration, and time. So energy in terms of force, acceleration, and time. What we basically have, we have energy is equal to force into distance. And if distance, I can say it is. Half a t square, so it would be f a t two. That I can directly say option three would be the answer. Now the first fourth part, thirty first. Small block is sliding from a smooth inclined plane, starting from rest at t equal to zero. Let s n be the distance travelled by the block in the interval, and in the nth second, then the ratio of s n to s n plus one. You know because it is acceleration is constant. S n th would be proportional to what we say two n minus one. So what we have s n upon s n plus one would be equal to. 2n minus 1 and here it will become n plus 1 minus 1, so that would be 2n minus 1 over 2n plus 1. So option three is the right one. Next, the velocity of a small ball of mass m density d when dropped in a container filled with glycerin becomes constant after some time. If the density of the glycerin is d by 2, so the density is half, so we can directly say the bind force would be mg by 2 and mg acts downwards. So definitely that uh, viscous force uh, that is the overall force must be balanced. So viscous force must be equals to mg by 2. So go with option two. Next. Give certain terms associated with flow of current through a conductor. Gives mathematical relation involving electrical quantities. Match one and two with appropriate relation. Drift velocity any V D no. This is a J equal to any V D. So this is a D is a Q. So D is Q. We are left with two options. So now compare C. Compare C relaxation period. Tau is a, what we say. Tau is E M by tau E E by M tau. That cannot be possible. Uh, e equal to rho j is uh, basically uh, e by j is uh, resistivity, so b is s, so b is s. Okay, so we can take it from here also. The second option, and uh, that means c is p. Okay, that was the relaxation period time that we can make it out. And the drift uh, drift velocity, what we say, yes, it is equal to e by m tau. So this is uh, now uh, we are short thirty three is second next. Radioactive nucleus undergoes spontaneous decay like this. So here z is decreasing by one. Z decreases by one. That means it is beta positive decay. Z minus three. That means it is an alpha decay. Z minus two. It increases by one. So it is beta minus. So there is the atomic number of element x. The possible decay sequences beta plus alpha beta minus. So go with option four. It's surprising to see beta plus in the neat paper, but it has come next. Match column one and two again. We have a matching. So VRMS pressure, average kinetic energy of a molecule, and uh, 
total internal energy of one mole of a diatomic gas so of a diatomic gas we know is a 5 by 2 rt so d is equal to r so dr i can directly say option a now let me check a the root mean square of the gas molecules you know a is q pressure exerted is 1 by 3 mn vr ms square yes an average translational average kinetic energy of a molecule this is basically the translational kinetic energy should be the correct word but we can go with what what is we are provided with so the fourth is done so this completes your section a now coming to the section b in the product f is equal to q v cross b q v cross like like this q is equal to 1 v equal to this f is equal to d what would be the complete expression for v okay so it is a very interesting one so one thing i can directly say b is definitely going to be perpendicular to f so just uh, first of all the best way is check f is perpendicular to b or not so if i check it it is 4 6 24 positive 24 this is uh, minus uh, 120 this is 12 and 8 it is minus 96 so what we have minus 96 minus 120 and plus 24 it cannot be the answer next 4 and minus 8 that is minus 32 and this is plus 160 and 12 and 6 that is minus 72 it is also not a possibility next 4 and minus 6 minus 24 this is plus 120 and this is minus 96 this is satisfying next one 32 man that what we have 28 160 12 6 a we have 72 not satisfying so only the third is the possible answer Next, from a circular ring of mass m radius r corresponding to a 90 degree sector is removed, the moment of inertia of the remaining part of the ring about an axis passing through the center of the ring and perpendicular to the plane of the ring is k times m r square. So the total mass is m. Now, what the mass remaining is 3 m by 4. So the formula remains the same. It would be m r square. So it would be 3 by 4 m r square. So it it would be option. The next one. Uh, 37 now 38 okay the three resistors r1 r2 are connected as shown in the given circuit the ratio i3 by i1 of current in terms of resistances used will be okay so what we have we can directly say i3 would be total current would be i1 and in the parallel we say the resistance is uh, the current is divided in the ratio inverse of the resistance so we can directly say it would be r2 over r2 plus r3 so that would be the answer so i3 by i1 is r2 over r2 plus r3 option 3 Next, a ball of mass 0.1 kg dropped from a height 10 meters strikes the ground, rebounds to the same height. The magnitude of the impulse we can directly say that is equal to 2 mv, and v is equal to root 2 gh. 2 into 10 g, and this is 10, so root 200. So 2 into m is 0.15 into root of 200. So it is 0.3 into 10 root 2. I can say so it is 3 root 2. 3 root 2. 3 root 2. What we have. 3 root 2 is approximately 3 into 1.4. That comes out as 4.2. Go with option 3 in this case. Next one. Step down transformer connected to an AC main supply of 220 volt is made to operate at 11 volt 44 watt lamp. Okay. Ignoring power loss, what is the current in the primary circuit? So first of all, you can make it out the current P is equal to IV. So current is equal to 4 ampere here. So 220 to 11 volt. That means the potential is dropped by 20 times, so the current would have increased to 20 times. So the current in the primary would be 4 by 20, or you can say it is 1 by 5 ampere. Go with 0.2 amperes. So this is uh, till 40. So here what we have T is equals to 2 pi r by v. So v is equals to 2 pi r by t, and height you know is uh, v sine square v square sine square theta by 2g. So this is 4 r v square would be 4 pi square r square uh, by t square. Sine square theta by 2g. So what we have this 4 and 4 get cancelled. So sine square theta thing would be coming out as 2g t square over pi square r. That is what I think would be the answer. So this is going by this. This is option number one. That is we are getting next one. Two conducting circular loops R1 R2 plays in the same plane with the centers coinciding. If R1 is much much greater than R2, the mutual inductance. So R1 is much much greater than R2. So we'll assume the current in uh, this R1 and uh, take the flux uh, passing through this one. So the flux passing through the B B would be mu naught uh, N1 I1 upon 2 R1 and that flux would be B into area of 2. So that would be proportional to R2 square by R1. That's a standard result that you all remember. This is question number. And this is option number one that you will write. Next, 27 drops of same size are charged to 220 volt. They combine to form a bigger drop. So you know the V V is what we say n to the power 2 by 3 times V naught. You all remember charge becomes n times the capacitance become n to the power 1 by 3 times. So it is 27 to the power 2 by 3 times V naught. So it becomes 9 times V naught. So 9 into 2 to 0. Nine two is eighteen and eighteen one nine eight zero volts. So go for option one. Next one. 
Rod of length 20, mass 500, balanced in a wedge uh, placed at 40 mark. Mass of 2 kg is suspended from the rod at 20 cm and another is suspended at 160. So, this gap is 20 and this gap is 120. Okay. Find the a rod is in equilibrium. So, for equilibrium torque balance, what we can have 2 into 20 must be equals to m into 120. So, m would be 40 by 120. So, it is 1 by 3. That is an easy one. Go with option 3. Next one. Point object is placed at a distance 60 cm from a convex lens of focal length 30 cm. Okay. Uh, if a plane mirror were put perpendicular to the principal axis of the lens and a distance of 40, the final image would be formed. So, because it is 60, focal length is 30, that means it is as 2f, so the image would be at 2f. So, image would have been formed here. This would be the i1. So, this distance would be 20. So, from the plane mirror, this would be the uh, image formed by mirror i2. This is 20 from here. So, this will also be 20. Now, the, the final image. Now, the final image for this uh, i2, for the second case, for the lens, we will have 1 by v minus 1 by u, let us say call it minus 20 in that case, 1 upon f, f would be what you have 30. So, 1 over v is 1 over 30 minus 1 by 20. So, it would be 30 minus 20, what do you have 60 and this would be 2 minus 3. So, v comes out as minus 1 by 60. That means on the same side 60 centimeter and it would be a virtual image. So, it would be uh, what we have. Uh, let me check the result uh, if I am done it uh, wrong or right. 1 by v minus 1 by u is 1 by f. Okay, So, 1 by 30 it would be minus 1 by 20 minus 1 by 60. So, I think it is uh, good enough. So, it would be 60 centimeter from the okay from the plane mirror also it would be 20 from the plane mirror it would be a virtual image. So, that would be option when I was searching for 60 the answer would be in terms of mirror next. Car starts from rest accelerates at 5 at t equal to 4 second a ball is dropped out of a window. So, the car the velocity of car at that moment would be 20 meter per second. So, the ball will carry that speed. What is the velocity and acceleration of the ball at t equal to 6 second? So, assuming the ball is in the flight, so acceleration would be 10 meter per second square and velocity would be 16 y and uh, that would be 60 j cap uh, taking downward is positive and it would be 20 i cap. So, the speed would be under root 60 square plus 20 square but t equal to 6 seconds sorry it would be 20. So, because it is not 6 second 2 second in flight. So, it would be 20 square plus 20 square. So, it is 20 root 2 and it would be 10 meter per second square go with option 1 in this particular situation. Okay. I am assuming here that the car height is much greater otherwise it would have hit the ground next. For the given circuit the input digital circuits are applied to the terminal ABC what would be the output. So, let me check. So, A, A, B, C like applied like this. So, this is 0, 0, 1 I can write. So, when I apply 0, 0, 1 what I will get? 0, 0, 1. So, 0 and 0 would be 0 and this is an OR gate. This is 0 and 1 but because it is a NAND gate it would be 1 and it would be 1. So, it would be 1 initially. So, it is wrong. It is wrong. Uh, third and fourth. Now, check for the next one. So, the next one what we have 1, 0, 1. So, what we have 1, 0, 1. So, if I, we have 1, 0, 1 it will still be 0. Here it is 1 and 1, it will become 0. So, 0 and 0, it will become 0. So, it will definitely be 0 in that case. So, fourth would be the 1. Let me check with the third also to be sure. 0, 1, 0, let me try. So, let us say delete it. 0, 1, 0. So, 0 and 1, it is still 0. 1 and 0, it would be 1 and 0, it would be 1. So, 0 and 1, it would be 1. So, again then it, it should be 1. So, here is the catch. So, none of the option seems to be matching up. So, none of the options seems to be matching up. Let me check. Now, the last 10. A uniform conducting wire of length 12 ampere and resistance R is wound up as a current carrying coil in the shape of an equilateral triangle as square of side A. The magnetic dipole moment in each case would be. So, what we have length is 12 A when it is in the equilateral tri tri uh, triangle of side A. Okay. So, it will have basically 4 turns. So, it will have four turns in uh, that case oh, wait a minute uh, let me okay so it will have four turns here so the m1 would be four times nia and i that means four times i into a and a you know is root 3 a square by 4 for a equilateral triangle you all remember this so it is root 3 i a square for the first case so from here only second option is making but let me check with the square so if we have a square we will have three turns and it would be i and the area would be a square so the option two is the right one next one Particle of mass m is projected with a velocity k v e where k is, is uh, less than 1 from the surface of the earth. So, it won't escape. The maximum height reached would be a. So, most of the people might be remembering this. Uh, now, doing the energy calculation half m v square which would be k square 2 g m by r 
बिकॉज वी इज रूट टू जी एम बाई आर माइनस जी एम एम बाय आर वुड बी इक्वल टू बिकॉज इट इज एट द सर्फेस एट द हाइएस्ट पॉइंट ओनली पोटेंशियल एनर्जी वुड भी देर काइनेटिक एनर्जी वुड भी जीरो सो जी एम एम आई कैन कैंसिल अप इट वुड भी के स्क्वेयर ओवर आर माइनस वन ओवर आर इज माइनस वन ओवर आर प्लस एच सो वट वी हैव के स्क्वेयर माइनस वन ओवर आर इज माइनस वन ओवर आर प्लस एच सो यू कैन राइट आर प्लस एच इज इक्वल टू आर अपॉन वन माइनस के स्क्वायर एडजस्टिंग दैट नेगेटिव साइन सो एच वुड भी आर अपॉन वन माइनस के स्क्वायर माइनस आर सो वट वी विल हैव के स्क्वायर ओवर वन माइनस के स्क्वायर वन माइनस के स्क्वायर यस इन टू आर दैट वुड बी द आंसर सो गोइंग बाय दिस दिस ऑप्शन फर्स्ट वुड बी द आंसर नेक्स्ट वन नेक्स्ट वी डू अ सीरीज एल सी आर सर्किट कंटेनिंग फाइव हेनरी रजिस्टर इंडक्टर सॉरी एट्टी माइक्रोफेरेट के पैसटर फोर्टी ओम रजिस्टर कनेक्टेड टू टू थर्टी वोल्ट वेरिएबल फ्रीक्वेंसी द एंगुलर फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ द सोर्स एट विच पावर ट्रांसफर्ड इज हाफ द पावर ऑफ द रेजोनेट फ्रीक्वेंसीज आर लाइकली टू बी सो इट इज बेसिकली टॉकिंग अबाउट द हाफ पावर फ्रीक्वेंसी सो दिस हाफ पावर फ्रीक्वेंसी थिंग वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट सो वट वी नो दैट हाफ पावर फ्रीक्वेंसी वुड भी ओमेगा नॉट प्लस माइनस डेल्टा एल सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी चेक द ओमेगा नॉट सो ओमेगा नॉट वी नो इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉन रूट एल सी सो दैट इज वन अपॉन रूट फाइव इन टू सी विच इज एट्टी माइक्रोफेरेट फ्रेंकली स्पीकिंग आई थिंक द क्वेश्चन शुड हैव बीन लेफ्ट बाय मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट सो इट वज टेन थर्टी ओवर ट्वेंटी ओके नो नहीं सो दिस इज नॉट दैट टफ फिफ्टी so 50 radian per second so one is less than 50 and one is greater than 50 for sure and how much less and greater you know that delta omega is r over 2l if you recall that if you know that half power of frequency and the bandwidth quality factor thing so r over 2l if i do this is 40 over 10 this is 40 over 10 that is equal to what we have 40 over 10 that is equal to what it becomes it becomes uh, 4 so it would be plus minus 4 radian per second so that would be the answer it would be plus minus 4 from that value so it would be 46 and 54 that I'll go for option 4 next a particle moving in a circle of radius r with a uniform speed takes a time t to complete one revolution if this were projected with the same speed at an angle theta to the horizontal the maximum height attained it by equals 4 r okay the angle of projection is then given by okay so what we have Particle in a circle of radius r with a uniform speed takes a time t to complete one revolution. So, so here what we have t is equals to 2 pi r by v. So v is equals to 2 pi r by t, and height you know is a v sine square v square sine square theta by 2g. So this is 4 r v square would be 4 pi square r square uh, by t square sine square theta by 2g. So what we have this four and four get cancelled. So sine square theta thing would be coming out as two g t square over pi square r. That is what I think would be the answer. So this is going by this. This is option number one. That is we are getting next one. Two conducting circular loops R one R two placed in the same plane with the centers coinciding. If R one is much much greater than R two, the mutual inductance. So R one is much much greater than R two. So we'll assume the current in uh, this R one and uh, take the flux uh, passing through this one. So the flux passing through the B B would be mu naught uh, n one I one upon two R one, and that flux would be B into area of two. So that would be proportional to. R two square by R one. That's a standard result that you all remember. This is question number. This is option number one that you will write. Next, twenty seven drops of same size are charged to two twenty volt. They combine to form a bigger drop. So you know the V V is what we say n to the power two by three times V naught. You all remember charge becomes n times the capacitance become n to the power one by three times. So it is twenty seven to the power two by three times V naught. So it becomes nine times V naught. So nine into two to zero. Nine two zero eighteen and eighteen one nine eight zero volts. So go for option one. Next one. Rod of length. So here we have a rod. A rod mass is also has to be included. So the total length is two hundred. It would be somewhere here hundred. So because it is at forty, so this would be sixty. This would be one twenty, and this would be twenty. And this is five uh, hundred grams. So point five, I can say. So balancing the torque, two into twenty. That should be equal to point five into sixty. Plus m into one twenty. So what we have, forty is equals to thirty plus one twenty m. So one twenty m should be equals to ten. So m is equal to one over twelve kg. So this would be option one. With option option three. Next one. Point object is placed at a distance sixty centimeter from a convex lens of focal length thirty centimeters. Okay. Uh, if a plane mirror were put perpendicular to principal axis of the lens and a distance of 40, the final image would be formed. So, because it is 60, focal length is 30. That means it is as 2f. So the image would be at 2f. 
so image would have been formed here this would be the i1 so this distance would be 20 so from the plane mirror this would be the uh, image formed by mirror i2 this is 20 from here so this will also be 20 now the, the final image now the final image for this uh, i2 for the second case for the lens we will have 1 by v minus 1 by u let's say call it minus 20 in that case 1 upon f f would be what you have 30 so 1 over v is 1 over 30 minus 1 by 20 so it would be 30 minus 20 what do you have 60 and this would be 2 minus 3 so v comes out as minus 1 by 60 that means on the same side 60 centimeter and it would be a virtual image so it would be uh, what we have uh, let me check the result uh, if i am done it uh, wrong or right 1 by v minus 1 by u is 1 by f okay so 1 by 30 it would be minus 1 by 20 minus 1 by 60 so i think it's uh, good enough so it would be 60 centimeter from the okay from the plane mirror also it would be 20 from the plane mirror it would be a virtual image so that would be option when i was searching for 60 the answer would be in terms of mirror next car starts from rest accelerates at 5 at t equal to 4 second a ball is dropped out of a window so the car the velocity of car at that moment would be 20 meter per second so the ball will carry that speed what is the velocity and acceleration of the ball at t equal to 6 second so assuming the ball is in the flight so acceleration would be 10 meter per second square and velocity would be 16 y and uh, that would be 60 j cap L taking downward is positive and it would be 20 i cap so the speed would be under root 60 square plus 20 square at t equal to 6 seconds sorry it would be 20 so because it is not 6 second 2 second in flight so it would be 20 square plus 20 square so it is 20 root 2 and it would be 10 meter per second square go with option 1 in this particular situation okay i am assuming here that the car height is much greater otherwise it would have hit it the ground next for the given now coming to the last one now what we have here uh, so let me uh, yes say okay so this is a gate abc is given what would be the output at the terminal y so let me start what we are given 0 0 1 0 0 1 so this is 0 this is 1 so this would be 1 so initial it should be 1 so 2 and 1 are rejected next 1 0 1 1 0 1 what we have 1 0 it will still be 0 and sorry 1 0 1 so uh, what we have let me check okay so 101 it is still 0 and 1 here so it will be 1 so answer would be 1 so again it would be 1 so option 3 would be the answer here so this was the complete paper definitely definitely tougher than 2021